Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Landon Hills. I do action figure reviews, movie reviews, TV show reviews, and occasionally I'll make some fun little editing side projects of my own. If it interests me, you can bet I'm going to talk about it. And today we're coming at you with an action figure review. Now this one's going to be special because it is only my second action figure review. The previous review being on the Galaxy's Edge 3-pack that I got at... Well, Galaxy's Edge. And that was an awesome review, but it was early in the process and I didn't quite know how I was gonna shoot it, how I was gonna light it, what the framing looked like for the characters. Uh, obviously this is more of the standard intro style, so I've got that figured out, but I'm coming at you with a review today for Doctor Doom. Now this is a figure I've wanted for forever. I've wanted a Doctor Doom in my figure collection for a while. Uh, but I just didn't like what I, what was available to me at the time. And I saw this guy was ge getting put out in early 2020. It's March 1st as of the recording of this video. And I was just out and about shopping today and I got really lucky at a GameStop. I found him, picked him up, really lucky, super stoked to have this guy. And it's funny because I actually put in an order for him on Amazon about a week ago. But obviously he's just now hitting stores and I got really lucky today, picked him up. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the review and let's crack open this Dr. Doom. Okay guys, so we got him out of the box and onto the reviewing station. And man, oh man, this is a good one. This is a really spectacular figure. Just looking at him visually right now, I'm actually blown away by the profile of this guy. Uh, the colors, the gold on his chains and his belt there, it all just melds perfectly together. And it, this is just the you know most classic, iconic Doctor Doom look that we could have gotten. Um, I'm absolutely loving how it looks right now. So um, yeah, just straight away out of the box, man, this figure is really, really impressive. He's already got some good articulation going here. So uh, yeah, let's take a look a little bit further. So it's kind of dark to see under that hood right now, but you can see that he's got his eyes in there. They are painted. You can even see a little bit of flesh tone underneath the mask there. That is really cool to see. Um, I like that a lot. I love the gunmetal color that he's got to his armor. Um, you can even see the rivets there. You can see sort of like a chainmail kind of look here. Um, all of that just combines into really an aesthetically pleasing figure. Um, like I said, he cuts an amazing profile. Um, I love the design of his hood mixed with the look of his cape. Um, it just looks absolutely incredible. He's got his gold chain here as well. Uh, he's got, you know, a lot of really awesome texturing to his tunic, it looks like. Um, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to be able to pick that up, but um, it's there nonetheless. Taking a quick look at the back of the figure, we can see that that texturing carries on throughout the entirety of the fabric pieces that are on Doctor Doom here. Even all the way up into his hood, down his cape, and then on his tunic, all of that texture remains there. Um, we have that metallic color for his biceps and his, uh, his forearms here. Even on his fingers, he's got rivets there. Um, there's just a ton of detail on this guy and I'm blown away by it. On this side it's the same thing, he's got an open hand. He's even got the buckles down here on his feet and on his legs. Um, that detail even carries on down into the feet where he's got his jet boosters and there's a little bit of a hole peg to put a, uh, a standing um, peg or what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? One of those things where you, you know, you're, you're able to, uh, a posability stand, that's what I'm looking for. He's got the peg holes at the bottom of the feet so you can do that if you want to. I don't really have any equipment like that. It's just kind of freehand for me. But anyways, getting back into Dr. Doom here. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the most well-detailed figures in my collection right now. Uh, I'm absolutely loving the way that this guy is looking. Okay, so for the articulation, it's kind of standard for a six inch action figure, but what really makes it stand out for me is the fact that Dr. Doom is such an armored up character, um, mixed with the you know, kind of softer plastics we have going on for the tunic pieces. He actually has a ton of posability to him, which is something I wasn't quite expecting. Of course, I've seen the reviews on this guy. I kind of do know what to expect, but just having him 
in hand, it's so much more impressive than just hearing that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's get into the articulation here. His head moves from side to side pretty easily. Um, the cape isn't really much of a hindrance there, or the hood, I guess I should say. It's not much of a hindrance on the looking of the side to side motion, but once you look, start wanting to look up and down, that is where it gets in the way. He can't really look up and down at all very much. Um, but nonetheless, you know, he's looking from side to side just fine. Down into the arms, he has a ball joint at the shoulders here that allows him for a, a good range of movement up at the shoulders. He's got the double jointed arms, so if we give him in a flexing position here, he's able to go up at least 90 degrees, no problem. Um, which, like I said, for an armored character is actually kind of impressive. He has the bicep swivel up here, which allows for full range of movement. Um, there's no forearm articulation for his gauntlet or anything, but there is plenty of articulation in the hand, it looks like. Um, I don't want to stress that joint too much, like I, th this is a fresh out of the box figure. But he's got his gripping hand over on his right side. I think there's a joint in there that helps to move it up and down, but maybe not. Oh, it's an up and down motion on his hand like this. I'm not sure how well you can see that. There we go, we got the joint loosened up a little bit. Um, so the, yeah, that's the articulation on the right side and on the left side he's gonna have pretty much the same thing, uh, except he's got an open-fisted hand. It looks like he's trying to hold on to the Tesseract here or something. You can probably put some power effects on him to make it look like he's using his abilities. But yeah, he's got the same amount of movement on the left side as he does on the right. It looks like my forearm joint is a little bit stiff there. We'll have to get on that. And if we move on down to the torso area, it looks like he's kind of got some kind of joint in there that allows him to move side to side at the waist. Um, there's not really an ab crunch because of the tunic. doesn't really allow for that, but he does actually get a stunning amount of movement forward and he doesn't move back too much because of the cape and also because I think that that you know that joint kind of just moves forward um, but nonetheless I'm really impressed that he's even able to lean forward as much as he does that is just fine for me I love the design of this belt buckle it's got the gold the same as on the chains up here but it's just a super detailed belt um, it goes all the way around his waist, and you can even see the jet boosters back there. Carry on that uh, same silver color that we have on the arms and the legs. It's just a nice little way to tie everything together. He does have a peg for the cape, so that cape kind of stays in place a little bit better. Um, and then, yeah, moving on to the legs, he's got that same amount of detail. Just all of these rivets and these, these buckles and just the shininess of it all. The armor that he's wearing is just so good. He does have a bit of a cut in his tunic, which allows for a little bit more mobility in his legs. Yeah, like I was saying, there is going to be a little bit of a hindrance there because of the nature of the plastic that is holding everything together. But that cut is really appreciated and is really nice to see. Um, moving on down to the knees, we have double jointed articulation there. That's great for an armored character like this. I love to see that. And it looks like the joint is fully complete. Um, there's no weird gappage or anything. Same thing with the elbows, in fact. Um, he's got a little bit of a plate there on the back of it. It just ties the look of the figure together, makes it look incredible. And then moving on down to the feet, he's got pretty standard articulation there. You've got some side-to-side -side pivoting motion there. There's a pin in there that kind of holds the ball joint together. Um, his feet can move up fairly far. I'm actually really pleased with to see that. Um, the feet can also move down quite a ways too, and of course it's the same articulation on both sides. So I'm really loving the articulation of this character. It's really stunning. Um, whatever you need Doctor Doom to do, you know, he's not going to be in the most dynamic of poses, but he is going to be able to stand there, look menacing, no problem. I'm kind of more of a sucker for vanilla posing my action figures. Um, I, I do like the occasional dynamic pose for them, but overall I just think it looks impressive just sitting there. But yeah, now that we've taken a closer look at this guy standing up, let's get into a little bit more of his accessories. Okay, so I did manage to get that gun holster undone and he does carry his Luger pistol with him. And there's a bit more of a close-up on the gun. It is kind of like the German Luger style pistol. Uh, which works perfectly for Dr. Doom because he is from like a Eastern European country 
fictional country called Latveria. So that works just fine for him. Now this is one of the earlier Build-A-Figure waves of the 2020 year, and this is the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure left leg. Um, Super Scroll's a really interesting character, but I kind of just pick and choose the Marvel Legends that I pick up, and I really won't have need of this thing. And once I accumulate enough random Build-A-Figure pieces, I like to just sell them on eBay. Um, so yeah, I don't really need this, but it's good to see, and you can catch some other review of the Build-A-Figure in its entirety. And then finally, the piece de resistance, we have the Doctor Doom alternate head. Now this is the Doctor Doom we see more in like the golden and silver age of the Marvel comics. Doctor Doom has always been a favorite character of mine, and this right here gets you looking more like the classic Doctor Doom figure. Um, I prefer this look here, which is the more contemporary looking Doctor Doom, a bit more modernized. Um, a bit more menacing, in my opinion, uh, but it's great to see that this head sculpt does come with the figure as well. Yeah, overall, not a bad selection of alternate parts here, and it gives you a little bit more variety to the action figure, which is always a plus. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a really fantastic figure. I can't sing its praises enough. The articulation's great and um, he just has some stellar detail overall, and he's got, you know, just the, the amount of detail on him, I think is incredible. I don't actually have my Marvel Legends collection with me right now as I'm away from home, so I don't really have any other accessories to put on this guy other than what comes with him in the box. But yeah, this guy is really impressive. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let's roll the outro. So there you have it, those are my full thoughts on the 2020 Doctor Doom Marvel Legends 6 inch action figure. I'm super excited to have this guy in my collection. I absolutely love the way that he looks. I love the tone of the figure. It looks like he just jumped straight out of the comic book pages. Um, he's got a great look to him, some fantastic articulation to go with all of that detail. And I'm super excited that he's going to be making the rounds as part of my collection. Unfortunately, I am in college now. I'm in Indiana, so I am far, far away from my actual collection, which is sitting at home in Arizona. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, stay tuned for more content on my channel, and thanks for sticking around. And until the next review, I will see you next time. Thanks.